I'm homeless. I'm up in Boston panhandling for money. Now, why are we sitting here today? You know why? Because the housing project is messed up. Uh, this could happen to anybody in society. And it happens every day, people becoming homeless. Due to the recent economic recession, poverty has become more widespread, with more than 37 million people below the poverty line. In its wake, homelessness has become an epidemic. Some of the leading causes of homelessness are lack of affordable housing, military service, and unavailability of employment. It's estimated that in 2009, one in every 200 Americans spent time in an emergency shelter. We wanted to see how the federal government is working to end homelessness, so we went to a local homeless shelter in Brockton, Massachusetts to observe their efforts. Um, my name is John Yaswinski, and I'm the CEO and president of a nonprofit organization called Father Bills in Mainspring. Uh, Father Bills of Mainspring uh, it provides emergency shelter and housing for uh, people experiencing homelessness, so families, teenagers, and individuals. Uh, we provide shelter every night for 82 families just in the South Shore of Massachusetts. Uh, tonight in the state there will be over 3,000 families that are homeless. And homelessness, the way we know of it, and, and especially with young people that know about it, it's fairly new. And that's why when we say that nobody should be homeless and we can end homelessness in the next 10 years, which is what the federal government wants to do, the veterans, uh, the, Veterans Administration says we want to end homeless veterans in five years is attainable because in, in, we didn't have people roaming the streets and sleeping outside in places like Massachusetts until the early 80s. We wanted to see if John Yaswinski's goal of ending homelessness in five to ten years was plausible. So we called John O'Brien of the U.S. Interagency Council on Homelessness and asked him about what he thought can be accomplished in the near future. So I've worked with the council since 2003 when it was revitalized and it had been dormant for many years. This afternoon, President Bush visited a charitable organization that feeds low-income families and the homeless. So President Bush revitalized it in his, as part of his 2003 budget message and the goal in that budget message was to end chronic homelessness in 10 years. So that was the focus. And that's what I want to see. I want to see people in need have hope. People who live in, just with despair in their lives have sunshine. What makes the Obama administration a little different is they focused on getting the plan done. So, so getting that first ever federal strategic plan done. And as a president, he's talked about it more frequently and more openly. We're making progress in ending homelessness among our veterans. You know, today, on any given night, there are about 20,000 fewer veterans on the streets than there were when we took office. But we're not going to be satisfied until every veteran who has fought for America has a home in America. The administration itself has been more visible on the issue. Both the federal government and the Veterans Administration have been quoted as saying that we can end homelessness within the next five years. Do you feel like this is a realistic expectation? Well, in terms of chronic homelessness, each year HUD does a report to Congress on results from 2006 through 2009 was a 35% decrease in chronic homelessness across the country. And we believe that was because we really focused resources on that. So as long as we continue to target resources, that five-year goal seems possible. In many places, the big investment has been in emergency shelter, so creating a safety net so if people fall into homelessness, they have a place at least where they can stay overnight and they can get some food and they don't have to be out on the streets. Unfortunately, that became the norm, and that that was the primary investment. And so what happened is you had people, particularly chronically homeless people, staying in shelters for years and years and years with no 
hope of, of getting out. So you had a whole system set up to effectively keep people in shelter with very little opportunity to move into permanent housing. And obviously, in order to prevent an end homelessness, housing is just the most critical factor. John showed us two types of shelters, emergency shelters and subsidized housing shelters. This is the difference between the street. Uh, this building is the front line where a lot of people last night slept out on the street for a variety of reasons and then they're coming into the building uh, now uh, for the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's really, really, really hard to do personally to have somebody kind of search you and then search your belongings and say to you, you know, you have to stand in line to go to the bathroom, you have to stand in line to do your laundry, you have to stand in line to get your food. Um, you know, we can do a better job as a society to end homelessness and not have to go through that. Fatherville and Mainspring just opened a brand new housing program where residents who have been suffering from chronic homelessness are given a fresh start. You know, they have their own key, they have their own bureaus, they have their own stove and kitchenette and a place to put their things. They receive their own apartment and are required to pay 30% of their income. Fatherville and Mainspring believe these transitional housing programs are the solution to ending homelessness. We opened this building up in July and already out of the 15 veterans, three have moved out into their own apartments because yep. they got work, they moved on. And their average pay scale was, um, was $15 an hour. So that was really good, yeah. even in a tough economy like this, that you know we, we served 100 homeless veterans and 40 of them were able to go back to work. The good thing about the federal government is they're putting their money into solutions like that. Yeah. You know, what we're just trying to do is, with this recession, is we were close to starting to shut down places like you're in today. But we've seen an increase of people coming in now, more women, more young adults, more high school kids, more um, elderly people, just more people calling us and saying, I don't have a home or I'm losing my home and, and I'm going to have to come to an emergency shelter. I used to have everything. I used to have a house, a good looking girl, everything. Although none of us have had to suffer the hardships of being homeless, many of us may be one step away. However, we are confident that the government is making progress. In ending this nationwide struggle, 